Hello everybody, this is Matt Jedi V, and today we will be attacking the 2020 AMCA Palm 22. The palm reads, when a positive integer n is fed into a machine, the output is a number calculated according to the row below. <clears throat> when a number of n is inputted, if n is even, then it will print out n over 2. Otherwise, if n is odd, then it will print out 3n plus 1. So for example, starting with input n equals 7, the machine will output 3 times 7 plus 1. So n is 7 here. It's odd, so you want to do this way, and you follow the rule of 3m plus 1. So 3 times 7 plus 1 is 22. And this rule is repeatedly inserted into the machine five more times to get a final output of 26. So 7, you input into the machine, you get 22. Put 22 into the machine. 22 is even, so you do 22 divided by 2, 11. 11 is inputted, 11 is odd. 3 times 11 plus 1 is 34, etc. And you get to 26. Now, when the same six-step process is applied to a different starting value of n, the final output is 1. And you want to find the sum of all possible values of these integers n. Right off the bat, we notice that guessing and checking won't work because there's just too many values of n that could result in 1. So, we use a strategy called working backwards. Let's label the stages of this sequence. So, this is going to be stage 1. Stage 2 is going to be this. Stage 3, stage 4, stage 5, stage 6, and that's going to leave stage 7. Okay, so since we're working backwards, we want to write stage 7 first and then move to stage 1. So stage 7, stage 6, stage 5, stage 4, stage 3, stage 2, and that's going to leave stage 1. And at stage 7, we have number 1. Now, when we input a number n into this machine, we want you to print out a number x. So if we let set these to x, if n is even, then this will result in n being equal to 2x. So that's our rule for the n is even case. And when n is odd, well, this will result if we just do some simple arithmetic. We'll get that n is equal to x minus 1 over 3. Okay, so these are our new, two new functions for working backwards. So our system, we have one. Now we assume that n is even. We can plug in x is equal to 1 to the n is even and get n is equal to 2. And if we plug it in to the n is odd formula, we'll get that n is equal to 0, which doesn't satisfy the positive integer rule. So if it's 0, it won't work. So now, we have to do the um, stage 5. And we can do something similar. Um, turns out that the only case that work is n equals 2 times 2 is 4. Since if we plug in x equals 2 to the n is odd case, it'll print out 1 third, which is not an integer. And now, let's find stage 4. We plug in x into these two equations, we get 2. Um, Valid, we we'll get 8 and 1. So those are two valid numbers for stage 4. And then we continue stage 3. The only thing that will work is the only thing that will work is 16. And then 1, well, we did it before in this case. The only thing that will work we know is 2. Now we move to stage 2. So here, if we plug in x equals 16. To the n is even case, we'll get 32. And we plug in x equals 16 to the n is odd case, we'll get n is 5. And then for stage 2, the 2 case, it has to be 4. We did it in this case. And then finally, stage 1, the only thing that works here is 64. 10 is the only thing that works here because 5 minus 1 over 3 is not an integer. And 4, well, there's going to be two cases. It's going to be either. And it's 8 or 1. So these are the final values of n that will result in a 1 at stage 7. And when we add these up, we'll get the sum of 83. And that's answer choice E. Oh, that was a long problem, but it was a very neat solution. Thank you guys for watching. May the force be with you. See you next time.